Hello everybody, Toretto here, and today we're going to look at the USS Nevada BB-36, a US battleship that is going to be introduced in the upcoming update. Now, the USS Nevada is the first of the US standard battleships. Basically, the idea was that this and future battleships could all operate together, so they all had pretty similar speeds. And it was also the first modern battleship to have the all-or-nothing armour scheme. Basically, lots of heavy armour around important areas like the engines and magazines, but no armour for areas that weren't particularly important. Now, the USS Nevada herself was designed before World War I, was launched just as World War I began, was commissioned in the middle of World War I, did see active service at the end of World War I, but was never engaged in combat. It was given a refit during the interwar period, was the only battleship to actually get underway during the attack on Pearl Harbor, but had to be beached to avoid sinking. Saw service throughout World War II, including D-Day, Operation Dragoon, Iwo Jima, Okinawa, and at the end of the war was used in the testing of atomic bombs, but it survived this, and in the end was used as a gunnery target, which it also survived, and eventually had to be sunk by an aerial torpedo. Now, the USS Nevada is similar to the Arizona, which is already in-game, but it has a slightly inferior armament. It has the same 14-inch caliber guns, but unlike the Arizona, it only has 10 of them, housed in two triple and two twin turrets. However, when it comes to the secondary armament, it is far superior to the USS Arizona, because, of course, Arizona was sunk at Pearl Harbor, Nevada did survive, albeit it had to be beached, and thus went into refits, and was given 16 5 inch secondary weapons in 8 twin turrets, and for its auxiliary anti air armament, it has 8 quadruple 40mm Bofors guns. I thought it had more than that, but that's what it says in the dev blog, as well as up to 40 20mm Orlikan cannons. So this is going to be excellent at taking down enemy aircraft, because you would have thought American ships would be very good at taking down aircraft. They were renowned for being fitted with all sorts of anti-aircraft weaponry, and lots of them. But of course, all of the battleships we have in War Thunder at the moment, the Arizona, North Dakota, and the Wyoming, are all in their interwar configurations, so they didn't have much in the way of anti-air armament. So... This will be the first battleship that has taken into account the need for massive amounts of anti-aircraft armament. So like I say, this is going to be an absolute pain for enemy aircraft. It also comes equipped with scout planes, which, you know, may be useful, may not be useful, depending on how much stock you put into them in the higher tiers. Speed is pretty good. At max speed, the Nevada does about 20 knots. Arizona does about 21 or so. So very similar speeds. So not the fastest ship in the world, but not the slowest either. It has pretty good armour as well. It has up to 343mm of armour for its armour belt, and the turrets are protected by up to 457mm of armour. Crew complement should be pretty large. When it was launched, it had about 864 men for its crew, but obviously after the refit in the interwar period, this went up to around 13, 1400 And by the end of the war, it was 2000 plus. But presumably this is going to be in its 1942-1943 configuration when it had a refit after Pearl Harbor. So probably maybe 1,500 men. It probably was increased as the war went on. So I'd say 1,500 men minimum, possibly more than that. Which again, compared to the Arizona, which has about 1,390. So this is going to be a very tough ship to take down from actually taking out the crew. And overall, I think this will be a very good battleship to have in War Thunder. I could see it coming after Arizona, despite Arizona technically being the successor vessel, because, like I say, it has much better anti-aircraft armament, even if it suffers in the actual surface attack role. Although it could also go immediately before, it kind of depends on what you think is more important in the higher tiers. But yeah, definitely looking forward to this vessel, and I think it will be a great addition to the American naval tech tree. Anyway, just a quick video for today. I've been Toreno, and I'll see you next time.